we're in day two. The best thing about it is you all get the chance to have a crack at it. As we said for nine months, is make Australians proud of us, make each other proud of us, and bat our ass off. That's what Australians want to see from you. This is probably the flattest wicket we've had of the summer. If you're ever going to make some runs, this is the time to do it. Chopped it on, and it's all over for Harris. It's taken. All falling apart again for the Australians. Bowled in, beautiful bowling. It is crumbling before your very eyes. Last time Australia was asked to follow on it was 150 tests ago for Amazing. Australia. There was a sense that Australia had lost its way again, that there'd been some false dawns. They were tired, they were worn down. A pivotal moment for me was that we were at breakfast on day three of the Sydney Test match against India. And I've known my wife since I was 14 years old, right? So we've known each other a long time and we're sitting at breakfast and she starts crying. I said, what are you crying about? Like, my wife doesn't cry, mate. I don't, she's sort of been in this game. And she got really upset. She goes, I just don't like what it's doing to you. I don't like what it's doing. I just, you're not smiling. I just, and she was really, she was up, she was crying, mate. And that was a massive wake up call for me. It was really tough. I, it really got to me. Very light rain falling at the SCG at the moment. They're held up by this rain delay but you sense, uh, you know, that Australia's cause is gone. Cheers, boys. All the best. What a fizzer of a way to finish. India deserved its 3-1 result. It deserves something more than the umpires walking into the change rooms and saying, congratulations, we're calling the game. You've drawn this and won the series. They outplayed us. You know, they had guys scoring hundreds and big hundreds and, and we didn't. And it was disappointing. You know, and in India winning, I think, the first time in Australia to be a part of that, yeah, it stings a bit. I think especially when it's on Australian soil, that's only the second series that I've lost, I think, in test, test cricket. You're meant to win test series in Australia, playing as an Australian cricket team. To be honest, India outplayed us. They were hungry. I've never seen an Indian team fight like that before. In 1993, I got dropped from the Australian cricket team for the first time, and I was shattered in 93, mate. It was a dark time. But I look back on the darkest periods of my career, and they're the best periods. They're the best periods of my cricket career because I had to learn, I had to get better. And I am absolutely certain in 10 years' time, I'll look back on Christmas and New Year of this year and think that was a really dark time. But I'm so glad I went through it. It'll be the catalyst for me being a much better coach.